Hello friends. Let's try to understand how to perform two-way ANOVA in Microsoft Excel. A two-way ANOVA is a statistical test used to determine the effect of two independent categorical variables on a continuous dependent variables. It also helps to identify if there is a, an interaction between two factors that significantly impacts the dependent variable. So friends, when we are talking about two-way ANOVA, we are considering two independent categorical variable and one dependent continuous variable. So to better understand this, let's try to take an example. So here you can see we have taken 20 students from each division that is D1, D2 and D3 and further in each division students can be categorized into two gender that is male and female and this numbers represent their exam score. So if we consider the application of 2B ANOVA we can see here there are two independent categorical variable. First is students divisions and second is their gender. And dependent continuous variable is their exam score. So now as a researcher, if you want to test what is the effect of gender on mean score of exam and what is the effect of division on the mean score of exam. In this case, we may apply two-way ANOVA test. So let's try to frame the hypothesis for this test. So the first hypothesis can be like, there is no difference between means of exam score grouped by gender. Second will be like this, there is no difference between means of scores grouped by division. And last, there is no interaction effect between two factor that is gender and division. So this is how we can frame the hypothesis in 2 one So we can have a 3p value and try to understand whether uh, is there any effect of gender on exam score or is there an effect of division on exam score or do we have interaction effect of both. So if you want to perform one way ANOVA in sorry two way ANOVA in Microsoft Excel then you just have to click on data set click here data analysis step and then there are two options the first is ANOVA two factor with replication and second is ANOVA two factor without replication we'll go by first that is two factor with replications so it will ask for input range so as you can see I'm selecting the entire range considering the label as well that you need to select then this dialog box will ask you row per sample. So here if you can see when we are talking about male 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 rows and that will be the same for female as well. So we have to put here alpha we are kept as 0 0.05 and this will be my output range somewhere here. So now we just have to click OK. So once you click OK the output is here. It will generate many tables. So if you focus on first, the first table is generated that is for male students and their score division wise. So this is average male students division wise score and the same is here variance division wise. So this is a descriptive statistic for male and three division. This is again a descriptive score for female students and their division. And this last table is of total. So average total marks in examination division wise and this is uh, variance division wise total so but to test our hypothesis we should focus more on this table and that is the last table ANOVA source of variance okay so let's go to the next step if you can see here this is our table that has been generated by the excel and the sample represent the difference gender wise Columns represent the difference division wise and this is the both effect that is interaction. 
so our focus should be on p value and you can see here p values are given so the first p value of sample is 0.53 so i am putting it here all values you can see here now we, we try to interpret so our first hypothesis is there is no difference between means of exam core group by gender p value is 0.53 which is greater than 0.05 so in this case we accept the null hypothesis it means what there is no effect of gender on mean of exam score second second hypothesis is there is no difference between means of exam score group by division the p value is less than 0.05 but you can see here so we reject the null hypothesis it means there is a effect of division on means of exam score of the student and last to check interaction effect our p value is 0.18 which is greater than 0.05 in this case as well we are accepting the null it means there is no interaction effect so what we can see here division wise we can see there is a difference in exam score and by looking at the overall result of these three hypotheses we can conclude in this way the division of the student significantly impacts the exam score whereas gender alone does not have a significant effect and finally we can write like this additionally there is no evidence of an interaction effect between gender and division of the students on exam score so this is how we run two way ANOVA in excel i hope you understood it understood it properly thank you so much for watching thank you